Did you know that your everyday household items contain toxic chemicals? They're called POPs, which stands for Persistent Organic Pollutants. They're also the main ingredient of many insecticides and can be formed as byproducts of incineration practices. POPs hang around in the environment for decades, where they can accumulate in the tissues of biota and cause adverse health effects. Because of this, global initiatives to reduce or stop the production and use of POPs have been introduced. However, POPs remain in the global environment and are able to be transported long distances by oceanic and atmospheric currents. As a result, these chemicals have even been detected in the Arctic. But little is known about how POPs behave in this cold environment. During normal sea ice growth in the winter, salt from the surrounding seawater becomes entrapped in microscopic brine pockets within the forming ice. Pops in the seawater may also become trapped in the ice. Further cooling concentrates the brine, resulting in the enrichment of chemical contaminants. As spring arrives, the ice melts. This pollutant-rich solution may be rapidly released to the ocean below along with chemicals that have accumulated through winter in the overlying snow. This coincides with the time when biological activity in the region is high. Tiny organisms that live within and around the ice and make up the base of the Arctic food web may be exposed to a cocktail of toxic chemicals. As many pops bioaccumulate and biomagnify, this has profound implications for marine ecology and indigenous peoples who rely on marine life for food. So, sea ice may be responsible for the uptake, storage and transfer of pops to the Arctic marine food web. And as temperatures continue to rise in the Arctic, vast quantities of pops are expected to be unlocked from the ice. Envision scientists at Lancaster University are conducting pioneering research to assess the risks and fully understand the impact of pop-like chemicals before they are released into the environment.